Look, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey everybody, it's Paul. What's going on? If you guys could click the subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified when a new video comes out, that would be awesome. We're in the fish room. Now, as you're gonna see by these clips, some time has passed since we started recording this. Lots of different things going on. Let's go ahead and do this now. All I gotta say is this is nasty. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the hawk tank. Um, you can see the sponge is definitely dirty. I gotta clean all of this poop and excess food out. This is the Lepturus tank. You gotta get this guy clean. You can see how much air is coming out. This thing is pretty plugged up, I believe. That one's not bad. That one needs cleaning. These ones aren't bad, but they still need cleaning. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the sponges. I got two buckets here. One bucket is gonna be for the major, and then the second one is gonna be to get the last bit of it out. So I'm gonna fill these up with tank water, and then we're gonna start. So the first tank that I'm gonna start with here is gonna be the Lepturus green tank, since it's the easiest to get to. All right, here we go. Get it in here and just start squeezing away. All right, let's start off by squeezing the first sponges. All right. This goes back on here. Back into the tank we go. Now, is it perfect? No. Is it gonna be better? Uh, yeah. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see just how disgusting this one is. Let's try to shed some light on this one for you guys. Can you just see how dirty it is? So we're gonna go ahead and clean this now. So as you can see, this is absolutely disgusting. Uh, I went and got the tank glass cleaned as well. Kind of figured why not? Uh, since we're cleaning the sponges in tank water, I felt like I could do this and not have any problems because bacteria grows on surfaces. All right, now we need to get this one. It's just getting nastier and nastier. Can you imagine what this is doing to my hands? Probably not very good. But after the, the first initial rinse and going into the second bucket, it's crazy how dirty it still is. That is a ton cleaner. All right, back to cleaning the glass. That is a, a tank with some Malawi Hawks. Again, using the tank scrubber to get the glass all nice and clean. Yep, it's awesome. Using the DIY wand that I built to pull out all the detritus. Super awesome. Now we're draining the system with the old system and filling up. Yep, filling the tank up, adding some safe in there. Uh, I like to add the safe into the tank because it detoxifies nitrites and nitrates. So I'm on a well, so I don't have chlorine in my water, but I like to add it in there for those purposes. I also added a little bit of beneficial bacteria from API just because we did a lot of work in the tank, but it's looking good. Yeah, now we're going and pulling the sponge out of the bottom tank where I got the red Bulu points. It's incredible how much these uh, sponge filters collect. I mean, again, if you could feel just how hard this is to do, 
it's because the sponge is just clogged full of garbage. And you can see that it is nasty, nasty, nasty water. And this is just these three tanks. All right, so we got three tanks cleaned. Um, what I want to do is I want to let everything settle in the buckets so tomorrow I could put them in something else. I want you guys to see just how much garbage that these things actually pull out of the water. So we got that one clean, we got those two clean, and we got that one clean. Here's the buckets. This is the first and then the second rinse. Uh, all tank water so we're gonna let that settle so you guys can see so it's been more than just the next day had some other things come up but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the most of the water out and then we're gonna keep this collected it's disgusting I know just to show you guys how nasty it is and just how well sponge filters work I'm pouring it into a large critter cage now we are getting the second bucket, which was the first bucket that we cleaned them in. Look at how thick this is. Ugh, that is disgusting. Wow. Whew, gosh. All right, so we're in the fish room again. Um, it wasn't a day later, like I said before, but uh, we are doing the next round of sponges. Uh, we're going to go ahead, my room is a mess here, but we're going to do the Lepturus tank right now and then the Compressiceps tank. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. All right, so now we are doing again the Lepturus green tank. That tank is only on sponge filters and it does a great job keeping the tank clean and filled with bacteria. All right, time for the nasties. Go ahead and get this thing cleaned up. All right, here we go. Look how clean the water is. Not for long. And here we go. Oh, that's nasty. Now, I hadn't cleaned these sponges in some time, so that's why they are so dirty, but look at how much waste and just things from the tank that these things actually catch. Much better. This is just nasty. I mean, it's so bad. I mean, look at that. Look at that. The second bucket is almost as dirty as the first one. So that just goes to show how much is not coming out on the first try. But there's lots of types of filtration. You got sponges, you got canister filters, you got sumps, you got hang on filters, you know, box filters. There's all kinds of different ones. Um, but this really goes to show how well a sponge filter, you know, on air works. Uh, they're really cheap to buy and they do a really good job. So between the first part of this video when you seen that I added the bad water to the pet cage. All right, so we just finished cleaning the sponges here. I did not record it. I don't know why I didn't do it. But nonetheless, let's look at the damage from cleaning the sponges on this wall over here. Okay, now if that is not nasty, I do not know. I mean, this is settled, guys. This has settled. I mean, this, this, I, I cannot believe how much these things do. And look how dirty they are again. I mean, I'm feeding these tanks heavily to grow these fish fast. But look at this. So we're going to use this as a reference point. There is, give or take, three inches of waste. That is just disgusting. I mean, it is nasty. That is bad, 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 bad. But these are really good filters. Check out that dude down there. But yeah, it's nasty, I know, but I wanted to show you guys. So I decided to dump it in here. 
Uh, it's just a whole chunk of waste, not needed. It's the winter time where I'm at, not gonna use it for flowers or anything, because it's the winter. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, that is solid. Look at that. Look, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is disgusting. Whoo, that is disgusting. That was probably one of the nastiest things I have ever done. So actually what's kind of cool about the system, obviously you guys know this is for the auto water change and I did this bottom section to go on my old system. And I had this as a drain, don't really even use it for that now because it needs a suction to pull it down. But when I want to use water, I just open it, turn this on and open this and the water just flows down into the hose and uh, it's a win-win. Is that your typical video you'd want to watch? Eh, probably not, but I just had to show you guys how much these sponge filters work. It's, it's incredible how such a simple technology does such an awesome job. Now in the Lepturus tank here, I only got two sponge filters and uh, that's all that filters this tank. They are rated for 125 gallons, so I got 250 gallons worth of filtration in a 125, so it's good, but it's doing an awesome job. I might decide to actually do all sponges here in the fish room. I know it's gonna save me on some money. This tank, this tank, and this tank are all running on canister filters. This one's got two, this one's got one, and then the bottom one over there has one. So I know if I go all sponge, it's gonna cut my cost down. Um, we do have something happening over here. Stay tuned for that. But it's gonna be super cool. It's gonna be epic, it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I know that these work. And yeah, had to show you guys, had to show you guys. So how nasty do you think that was? Comment down below how nasty you think that that was. Do you guys use sponges? Not load the comments up guys i'd love to read your comments i love responding to all your guys's comments so like the video if you can if you liked it give it a like and again if you like the content subscribe and hit the notification bell i don't want you guys to miss out on future content we got a lot going on something happening here in the fish room we got the reef tank things are happening we got fish i'm just gonna start shipping soon i mean this is just up awesome epic all that good stuff so Again, thank you so much for watching the video. Talk to you guys next time. Stay tanked.